39 days, 20 people, one survivor. Just looking at the two tribes going in, I think if the fans can get rid of a couple of people that could hold them down, the fans could take it this year because I think the favorites are vulnerable. Take Eddie, who's a fan. Super fit, very charming guy, clearly is good in emergency situations. I'm a fireman, so anything can happen. The same as in a fire or at the firehouse. Anything can happen at any moment. You gotta be ready for that. Does his brain work in a way in which he can take his experience and slow everything down and make a great strategic move? Or does he become this young kid who's around beautiful women and thinks this is a sporting event? I don't know. Hope is a beauty pageant girl. That's how she'd describe herself. She's the first to say this is the same as a beauty pageant. And I know how to look somebody in the eye and find out if they're gonna stab me in the back. And I know how to stab them without them knowing. But I come off like the young beauty queen and nobody sees me coming. Shamar is bigger than life. I learned a lot of leadership qualities in the Marine Corps. But Shamar's biggest liability is his mouth. We're the new favorite. <laughs> I haven't really developed a strategy other than destroying everybody. Honestly, I think they like lunch meat. Julia is fascinating to me simply because she's only 20 years old and she's already accomplished so much. She's a race car driver, she's a student, super high IQ. All of the things that she does in her life are in some ways individual pursuits. And this is very much a group dynamic. If you go inward in this game, you're done. Michael is a huge fan, and guys like that have done very well. His biggest obstacle is going to be how he socializes. Leave the nutty to me. I can't deal with other nutty people very well. Anything about you that's different, Michael's gay. Some people will use that against him. If Michael can get deep into the game, he's likable enough he could win. Laura, super bright, pretty opinionated. I can be a bit of a smart ass. Extremely defensive. And she would say, no I'm not. And I think she's going to learn a lesson out here. And then she will go, oh, that's what Jeff was talking about. Matt is a guy that is either gonna be out early because he's an outcast, or I think he's a guy that could go to the end because people will like his vibe. Some of my hobbies that I have are competitive bearding, which I don't know what that'll help except the fact that it rules to have a long beard. What Ali has going for her is she's got an attitude. She's got a mouth. I will do anything, I'll do whatever it takes. I will lie, cheat, steal, fight. She doesn't mind getting scrappy, but the likability is tough because on Survivor, you either have to sit next to people who are less likable than you, or you have to genuinely be likable enough to overcome the fact that you just voted out the jury. Reynolds is a guy that I don't know if he's ever told me the truth or not. He's got amazing stories, and I wanna believe him, but if I found out that Reynolds had created this entire persona and none of it was true, I'd go, good on you, man, you could win this game. Sherry is an entrepreneur, she's successful, she's still very fit, she has a great relationship with her husband, she's a tremendous tease, and she has all of these great qualities in this package that I sometimes think she doesn't know what to do with. She's bursting everywhere. If she can go into the game and use that presence of mind of being a business owner, she could be okay. If she's scattered and crazy, they'll look at her like she's from another planet and get rid of her. You're the monkey cleaning me off. Hello, yeah. big. My choppers, we If you start looking at the favorites, one of the biggest names out there is former federal agent, Philip Shepard. I think I'm gonna win this time because I'm gonna bring a little bit of the old guy. I'm gonna bring some new stuff for the fans. I've got a new organization. Is he really serious or is he really crazy? And I still don't know. But I do know that Philip is very compelling and it will not surprise me at all to see him go deep in this game. Another favorite I really like is Andrea. And she played in Redemption Island with Boston Rob. I was a big fan of Andrea's because I felt like I was watching somebody get educated by one of the best. And even as she was playing and knew she was gonna be going out, I could see her wheels turning thinking, if I ever get another shot, I know how to play this game. Say what you want about Brandon. He was compelling. I believe I'm a fan favorite because I wear my heart on my sleeves. I say everything that's on my mind. He couldn't stop making crazy moves. I want to give my immunity necklace up. When his season was over, I felt like Brandon would never play again. So he called him and he said, listen, I've changed already. I'm not friends with my Uncle Russell anymore. I've got a whole bunch of new tattoos. And I think I've grown up a lot and I'd like to try it again. Corinne played in Gabon. She was one of the most despised people to ever play. I think the general public thinks I'm bitchy, which most people would probably have bad sentiment towards. I think it had an impact on her 
and made her want to come back and say, I'm more well-rounded. Let me show you the other sides of me. If I'm like offending anyone, please just tell me. Eric was a fan the first time we did fans versus favorites. He was the ultimate fan and he could have won the game. He made one fatal mistake. I want to give individual immunity to Natalie. In one of the greatest moves ever, Eric got suckered into giving up immunity and had he not given it up and won another challenge, he probably is a millionaire. Instead, he comes back as a favorite with a chance to finish what he started. The reason we brought Brenda back is we thought when we put her on Survivor Nicaragua that she was going to be a great strategist. And I think that's true. Brenda's problem in Nicaragua, I felt, was she just didn't fight hard enough. And I thought it was because she was used to getting what she wanted in life because she's pretty. Coming back out here for a second time, I see more of a fire in Brenda. <laughs> When we talked about doing fans versus favorites, Cochran was one of the first names that came up because in so many ways, he represents everything good and bad and fun and silly about Survivor. Some people found Cochran to be a betrayer. You disgust me. Other people found him to be a pretty decent player. I'm really curious which way he's gonna go this time. I'm still gonna be horrible in challenges. I'm still gonna be, you know, not particularly helpful around camp but I think you could see the emergence of a more strategic version of me that really does take control. Francesca is probably the biggest question mark. She's the only player in the history of Survivor to be voted out first and yet be asked back to play again. We knew we were bringing Philip back and we loved the relationship between Philip and Francesca. My vote tonight will be for Francesca. Francesca. She has the ability to be a great player but if she rubs people the wrong way or if Philip decides he's gonna have to go after her again, she could be in trouble and that would be a tragedy. Malcolm, one of our new favorites. I hope Malcolm delivers like he did in the Philippines. He's a guy that looks like he belongs out here. He's a great competitor. He's very likable. Men like him, women like him. As far as fans go, I imagine the women will swoon when they see me again. And his story in the Philippines was such a come from behind story that I think a lot of people are gonna root for him to do well. Dawn is everything I like about this show. I've watched the show since season one. My first audition was season two. It's the equivalent of going to the Olympics for me. <laughs> this game means that much to me. Dawn understands that she made a lot of mistakes when she played. Dawn? The tribe has spoken. She's got a different idea on how to play strategically. She's fit enough to pull her own weight. And I think that idea of anything is possible might just come into play for Don this year.